This is what I'm talking about here. This box is a cut-in box, just like this one here. And when you tighten up the cut-in box, you've got a screw here and one down here. And when you tighten it up, doink, this flap goes up in the back, and then when you tighten the screw, this pulls in from the back side. So this box has the same thing, and so what I think is happening is either this flap was too close up against the sheetrock. The sheetrock is 5 8 let's say, and if you only have that a half an inch or a sixteenth less than 5 8 when you go to flip this up like that, you might think it's on the back side of the sheetrock, but maybe you've only got it up that high and it's not going in all the way and you tighten this screw up all the way and you think it's tight and you don't know what else to do it's because this flap is not on the back side now also that flap could have fallen off and I don't know why it would fall off but we're going to pull this apart and we're going to see what happens you see there that one flops up like that you take that other screw at the bottom and as you tighten it, do you see how it comes down? See there? This flops down like that and when you tighten up the screw, it pulls that and sucks it back in behind the box. And this cut-in box has little flanges that fit on the outside of the sheetrock wall. So, so that keeps this from being pushed into the wall and the back flap keeps it sucked tight up against the back side of the wall. And that's how a cut-in box works. So when I look at that, I saw immediately it was a blue box, plastic box, and it looked like there's some flaps there. We'll pull this apart and get a, a little bit closer look. I'm out braving the seas today.